Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. I got a bevy of rumors for you today. Uh, really excited about this stuff. One of our first big rumor batches of 2022 coming from Nate the Hate and Modern Vintage Gamer. Uh, they do a podcast together and yeah, there was a bunch of stuff on there. There was a lot of speculation. We're gonna skip over a lot of the speculation and focus on the things that they said they had some direct knowledge of supposedly. Now you might go, why do we care about this stuff? Well, for starters, it's just fun to talk about rumors and all that, so get your tinfoil hats, get the uh, truckloads of salt ready, throw it over your right shoulder and hope Hope that some of this stuff is right and maybe hope that some of it isn't it's not all necessarily good rumors uh that being said why we pay attention to this is obviously because nate the hate has a long history in this industry going back i don't even know i think a decade at this point where he has gotten a bunch of stuff correct and proven to be an insider now some people might go but he's also gotten stuff wrong and you're absolutely right like every legit insider in the world, there's never a 100% track record and things are always super fluid behind the scenes. And I know this because I've actually talked to real life video game developers, including Modern Vintage Gamer, who is a real life video game developer. And yeah, um, things are always super fluid and moving all the time behind the scenes. And stuff you hear about now, you know, can change all the time. Uh, that being said, we are giving away $100 in cash to new subscribers in the month of January. So go ahead and subscribe for a chance to win that. And we are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus that's here in gosh 15 days like we're pretty much two weeks away from pokemon legends arceus goodness all right folks let's get right into this rumor batch here and we're starting off with the very first one we're going to separate this into i think seven sections um so this first section is metroid prime remake yes folks uh he says the metroid prime hd remake is real and will be coming this year and yeah, that's kind of what he knows. It'll be announced at some point coming this year. He does predict it's going to be coming in the second half of the year um, towards the holidays. But again, that's his prediction. He doesn't seem to ha know an exact launch window, just that it is planned for this year. This is the that rumor that goes back to Emily Rogers, um, who originally said this was going to happen. This is a thing. And he's just telling us it, it's going to come out this year. Uh, and they want to build on the momentum of Metroid Dread with this game, which obviously would make a lot of sense. You don't want to let go of the Metroid momentum right now. You just got Metroid Dread out. It would make sense to get this out if Metroid Prime 4 is not ready this year, which I would venture to guess it's probably not ready yet. Who knows though? Maybe we get that instead, but that is at least what he's saying. Metroid Prime Remake is coming this year. Next up, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So he notes here that he thinks it should be announced this year. He knows it does exist, which I think that's a pretty safe bet because Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is huge and we got Definitive Edition as well. Um, but the thing is, while he expects it to be announced this year, he doesn't think it'll actually release this year. It will release in 2023. Uh, this is because from what he has heard about this game, it was actually supposed to be announced in early 2021. However, they were having severe optimization issues, which if you go back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and even the Definitive Edition, there was some optimization issues. So you could understand maybe they're still seeing that. I don't know. I would like to see them build an engine that actually works directly with the platform. But at this point, you know, they got to be looking forward to the next Nintendo system after this game. So you know, they're doing the best they can, I suppose. Uh, plus, there was obviously some COVID development delays. So, yeah, that's what he said. That's why we didn't hear about it last year. And you would go, well, then fine, a year delay. It'll come out this year. He does know it still could come out this year. But he's just saying mm, everything he's hearing about it sounds more like a 2023 title at this point. Maybe a summer 2023 title rather than a uh, 2022 title. But we will have it announced this year. And that's obviously exciting. Obviously, we know Nintendo will announce things for 2023 this year. So, yeah, why not? Next rumor is new Fire Emblem game. Uh, he doesn't say there is a Fire Emblem remake in the works, and that's been long rumored and, and expected to come out this year. But that is actually not the Fire Emblem game we are getting right here in 2022. Instead, we are getting a brand new Fire Emblem game made by the... Fire Emblem Three Houses team. Uh, and this game is going to be extremely more ambitious in its gameplay. There's going to be new gameplay concepts. And it's going to have significantly better visuals than Fire Emblem Three Houses. Which, yeah, the visuals were a little rough in that game. I wouldn't say too bad. And the game did go on to sell extremely well. And I really enjoy Three Houses. I got my waifu in there. It's all good. You guys, uh, the, the OGs on this channel know who my waifu is in that game. But yeah, you guys... Um, let me know uh, what you think about, obviously, the idea of having a brand new Fire Emblem game this year instead of a remake. Because uh, usually you get remakes between Fire Emblems ever since Fire Emblem Awakening, but 
uh, yeah, I guess we're, we're changing up that strategy, at least according to Nate the Hate. Next up, what about the Donkey Kong game? Remember how there was a brand new Donkey Kong game rumored for last year? Uh, well, not really rumored to come out last year, but rumored to exist. Uh, and he says he doesn't really have any info on that Donkey Kong game, including confirmation on if it's 2D or 3D. That's been like a big debate. Is it 2D? Is it 3D? There was like rumors, oh, maybe it's, you know, it's probably 2D. Maybe it could be 3D. Uh, it, it seems that information on this game, at least coming out of the contacts that these people have at Nintendo, is extremely scarce only that it does exist and yeah he's got one update one update for you one so one thing he's heard about this game they are planning to sort of tie it together with the launch of the new donkey kong theme park in japan also they're working on a new donkey kong movie so um i feel like they're going to try to tie that all in together uh the only reason people thought it was coming soon was because last year was the 40th anniversary of donkey kong but if you actually go back and look at all the rumors for the donkey kong game there hasn't really been anything that said yeah it's coming now like oh it might be being made by part of the mario odyssey team or a team working alongside the mario odyssey team maybe but also that's about it we haven't really heard anything else so yeah he's saying that you know it's coming in 2023 and we might not even see it announced this year that could be something they wait to announce next year now into our first bad news um he's hearing that mario plus rabbit sparks of hope might not actually come out till early 2023 now if you remember sparks of hope is one of our confirmed games for this year and looked absolutely incredible last year but we never really saw raw gameplay necessarily it could have been canned gameplay and he's saying that it's an extremely expansive game that needs a crap load of polish because they really want to make this the ultimate uh, Mario plus Rabbids experience and really go well beyond what the original game did. And they're struggling in getting that last bit of polish on this thing to truly be a showcase game on Nintendo Switch. They are trying to hold back no punches with this one, put the big budget into it and make this something incredible that could, you know, be a, a 10 million seller. So to do that obviously means that they might need more time in the oven to get it right. And obviously as Shigeru Miyamoto says, it's always best to take your time and do it right than rush a product out the door. So while it could still be shown this year, it could still release this year, everything he's hearing makes it sound like it's gonna be pretty difficult to get it out this year. Still could end up being a holiday game, but he's hearing, you know, the way development is now, it's not like the game is, you know, trash, but mm, it doesn't sound like it's in the state where it would still come this year more like working with Nintendo to make it an early 2023 release. Could be January, could be February, March. Um, so it wouldn't be too far out of 2022, but it could be that big game to start next year. Obviously it'll depend on how Nintendo wants to slot their IP along with this game. So one thing that they seem to agree upon for this one is that there is a 3D Mario in the works, which breaking news, after the success of Mario Odyssey, they're going to make another 3D Mario game. I mean, it's Mario. That's like saying the sun's gonna come up eventually. I was gonna say tomorrow, but for some of you, it might not come up tomorrow, but it'll come up eventually, right? Here's the thing. Um, they are saying that 3D Mario is coming uh, and they fully believe, they aren't sure, but they believe it's coming in 2022. They think it's actually gonna release this year. That also might support, you know, delaying Sparks of Hope out of this year as well. But they aren't confident in that. They're, they're, not, they're not definitively saying 3D Mario will come this year but they do believe it's coming sooner rather than later. So while it might not be this year, it could be a, 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 the big holiday title for 2023 or something like that. Uh, it's still one of those things where they feel like it's so far along in development, it's pretty much ready to go. If you guys remember, Super Mario Odyssey looked like it was pretty much done at the end of 2016, but uh, obviously it didn't come out till a year later. So this game could end up being done this year, but then due to timing of releases and wanting to line things up just right, could end up being the big holiday title next year. Either way, uh, they're very confident that that game is going swimmingly at Nintendo. So there is that. Last, we're just gonna talk a bit about Zelda. So they haven't heard anything about Zelda. They do speculate and talk about how, you know, does this year even need Zelda, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They go into a bunch of speculation and opinions on that. Again, I'll link to the full podcast down in the description if you wanna just listen to it. It's just a, a, gen, a genuinely good listen as their podcast usually is. Of course, I hope you follow our podcast at our podcast channel, but you know what, screw it, I'll link our podcast channel down below as well. But here's the thing. 
They said they think it can survive this year, fine without it, um, especially if Let's Go 2 is a thing, which nobody seems to know, but the Pokemon company would be able to announce that probably around Pokemon Day this year. Uh, and obviously if 3D Mario is a thing, that, you know, those two games combined would make it, so maybe you don't need Zelda this year. But they didn't know they don't actually know or know anything or have any direct knowledge of zelda being delayed so if you talk about oh zelda getting kicked out of this year it, it, it's just uh, based on them looking at, at the release lineup and going yeah okay we don't really need it then again they don't actually know anything um they basically said that zelda is one of those games that is extremely hard to get information from because right now the only people that have any direct knowledge of it are basically AJ Anomo and AJ Anomo's team working under him and his team is actually one of the hardest teams to get information out of whenever we get leaks for Zelda it always comes usually from marketing and since they're not marketing the game yet there isn't anything that could actually leak this also suggests we won't see Breath of the Wild 2 in any potential February direct uh, which is fine I don't think we will either I think you know and, and they agree that you know chances are Breath of the Wild 2 isn't shown again until summer around when E3 would normally be or during an E3 digital event so with that being said we won't get any leaks for any delays or release dates or anything until closer to e3 when nintendo of america's pr team is working on setting up a bunch of commercials and ads and, and emails to blast out to people so in other words yeah they think breath of the wild 2 doesn't need to be this year but they don't actually know anything and anybody telling you any details in breath of the wild 2 right now if you hear any rumors right now about Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 2 will be titled this. Breath of the Wild 2 is going to do this. Do that. It's going to come out this. It's going to come out. If they're telling you they know, they're full of shit. And I'm not just saying that because they hate to saying that. I'm saying that as someone who has been covering the Zelda series as a literal journalist for 20 plus years. I can tell you right now, information does not leak until it hits marketing. And then when it hits marketing, that's your opportunity to get additional details. Right now, there is no current marketing being set up for this moment, for any time in the next you know, 30 to 60 days. Doesn't mean it's not coming this year. They typically are gonna get the marketing going until closer to when they're gonna show a big blowout, which should be this summer. So yes, I do think Breath of the Wild 2 is probably, at least right now, still coming this year. I think it would, it would really hurt Nintendo to delay Sparks of Hope and Zelda out of this year. Not that they don't have enough other titles, but also, just a, a small little note, we're not going to separate this out with a timestamp. They did note that uh, that apparently Nate the Hate knows what the casual game is going to be. Uh, that's been rumored there's going to be some sort of casual game coming for Nintendo, a surprise sequel to a series that nobody expected. And he said it's also a game that nobody is going to want. Um, I find that really, really interesting that he says nobody's going to want it because no one is a lot of people. And the Switch has a pretty broad audience. Uh, so to say no one... Maybe it's tongue in cheek. I don't know, but because uh, you know, like MVG said, oh, you know, is it going to be, you know, Clubhouse Games too? And it's like, well, no. People would actually want Clubhouse Games too because people like the original Clubhouse games. And I, I, I think that sometimes when you talk about casual games, you need to consider that we are people on the internet talking about video games. We are not the casual audience, clearly. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rubblejans from Nintendo Prime. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Remember, these are all just rumors, speculation. Call it what you want. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about this batch down below, and obviously we'll see what happens the rest of this year and how right Nate the Hate actually is. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.